sausage hot pot with potato and beetroot gratin, followed by apple compote. Food with guaranteed feel-good factor. Mummy, Jack, Holly, Megan. Oof. Doesn't it? It smells amazing. Jack, tasty? Delicious. One of my favourites. So tasty, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I love the mushrooms as well. It's, that is so nice and so mm -hmm. simple. When I was your age, guys, Nanny was making this for me. In those days, the sausages weren't as fat. And in those days, you would ride to school on dinosaurs. <laughs> Next up, more comfort food must-haves. But first, here are some helpful tips on how the experts crack the feel-good factor. This place has seen a lot of history over the years. Uh, that table over there is where Winston Churchill used to dine on a regular basis. So at home, one of the things I enjoy most is cooking a roast. Beef, of course, is, is the classic that everyone goes for, but what I like to do is something a little bit different, uh, a rack of pork. It's a little bit cheaper, um, but you get that delicious crackling with it. And just because you're not cooking beef, there's no reason why you can't do some fantastic Yorkshire puddings. Everyone loves them, everyone loves the classics. We're 160 years old in one family. My brother and I are the fifth generation. My father's the fourth. The old man. And your children will be the sixth. Yeah, they might be the sixth. My secret recipe for the winter for a cold day is breast of lamb. Really easy to get, really cheap. What I like to do is stuff them full of the sausage meat, sometimes some fresh herbs, roll them up, finish them off in the oven, and it's so tender and really full of flavour. My winter choice cut is uh, braised ox cheek. I marinate it the day before in red wine, garlic. It takes about 45 minutes to cook. Have it with mashed potato. Great during the winter. <laughs> what I really like is the shin of beef. If you cook it a long time, it's really beautiful. And what I like to do is to serve it with the marrow bones. Pop them in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes, and then sprinkle a bit of sea salt, a few chives, and just spoon it out to garnish the shin of beef. Fantastic.